So today we're going to talk about a casino that operates every week and hundreds and thousands of people go there to try their luck. And this is not an ordinary casino. This is not something which you must have gone once and you know played with the slots. The turnover of this casino is one of the highest in the world. Hundreds and crores of rupees are won and lost every week in this casino. So where is this casino? In Las Vegas, in Macau or in Goa? No, no, no. I'm not talking about these types of casinos. I'm talking about the casinos that run on the stock exchanges every week. And I'm sure a lot of you understood what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the weekly options expiry. And if you don't know what weekly options expiry is, please go ahead and watch this video where I have explained in a very simple language using real life trades, how all these things work. So that will be a very good starting point for you. But the bottom line here is that every Thursday, most of the weekly options expire worthless and traders try to take advantage of that. But how? Well, there are two types of players in this game. The first type of players are the ones that are here for jackpots, right? So they want to double their money. They want to triple their money. They want to, you know, make their 1 lakh rupees, 10 lakh rupees. So they are here to hit a jackpot. And if you see the things from their standpoint, they're not actually wrong because we have heard, we have seen people doubling their money, tripling their money, you know, making their 1 lakh rupees to even 10 lakh or 20 lakh rupees in one day. So the allure of making that quick money brings these people to this game. And the way they do it is that they buy options cheap with the hope that these cheap options will go two times, three times or even 10 times higher. Now, the other side of this trade are people who open their own casinos and they invite all these people on the other side. They say, okay, come on, you know, come to my casino play for the gamble. You probably will hit a jackpot. You will make a lot of money. Come on. You are welcome in my casino. And if you look at these guys, they are not here to double or triple their money, right? They are simply here to sell the dreams of jackpot to all these people over there because they know that the probability of all these guys losing money to their casino is very, very high. So these guys are option sellers. So on the expiry day, they sell all these options that they believe will expire worthless and they sit back and just eat the premium. So these are our two players, the option buyers and option sellers. But how exactly is the game played between the two? Well, on the morning of the weekly options expiry, both these players, they get ready. They are all excited to make money, right? Now the option sellers know that 70 to 80% of the options will expire worthless on that day. So they sell these options and basically wait for the options to become worthless, right? And all they have to do is make sure that nothing goes horribly wrong because they know that it's just a matter of time if they can just sit on their trades and if the trades are not incurring a lot of losses eventually that day they will end up making money but this video is not about option sellers because we already have made not just one video we have actually made seven or eight videos about how option sellers make money in real life i have taken real life trades so go ahead and watch them if you want to understand the perspective of option sellers this particular video is focused on option buyers now, option buyers understand that their chances of making money on these days are low. So they are not really playing for the probabilities. What they are playing for is rewards because they know that out of five trades, even if they lose four trades, but that one trade, if that one trade hits that jackpot and it makes them five times or 10 times their capital, then their job is done. They have made enough money. Right? So the mindset of option buyers is very different than that of option sellers. Now, let me give you guys a real life perspective of how this works in real life. So this is the last Thursday's expiry date trade and somewhere around two o'clock when it became very evident that uh, Bank Nifty is unlikely to cross 35,700 mark. I sold this option for somewhere around 55 rupees. And of course, my expectation was that Bank Nifty would not cross 35,700. Hence, this option will expire worthless. Its value will become zero by the end of the day. And all I had to do was sit back, relax and wait. Why? Because just like the gravity pulls everything towards the earth, right? In the same way on the expiry day, the expiry day effect brings all these out of money options towards zero. So the gravity is doing its job for me. I don't really have to do much. I just have to sit back and let the nature take its course. So that is what eventually happened. This option from 56 rupees basically went down to zero. Although I exited at around uh, three o'clock because it's one of my rules. I don't uh, stay in a trade after three o'clock. But as you can see uh, clearly, this option from 56 rupees from where I sold 
became zero at the end of the day. So from an option seller's perspective, it's not really too complicated, right? It doesn't require a lot of analysis. We basically just have to sell and manage your risk and sit back and relax. Now let's see the same trade, the exact same trade from an option buyer's perspective. Now the option buyers today to whom I sold this option, they did not have the luxury of time like I did. So it's not like they could have taken a trade and stayed there for like say two hours or three hours or four hours. In fact, anybody who bought this option and stayed in that option for more than one hour essentially lost money. So time is not on the side of option buyers. But having said that, let's take a closer look and see what kind of amazing opportunities were present for option buyers as well. And right here, of course, is the most obvious one. From 30 rupees, this option went up to 90 rupees. So it tripled in its value within one hour. So one lakh rupees would have become three lakh rupees within half an hour, right? Amazing, isn't it? And even after that, these quick momentum moves that you can see here, from 20 rupees, this option went up to 40 rupees. And later, from 15 rupees, it went back up to 30 rupees. And all this happened within a matter of few minutes. So these are the opportunities that the option buyers are focused on. And if you think that this is amazing, let me tell you what. I have seen options on these expiry days going 10 times, 20 times, and even 50 times on these expiry days. So these are the crazy momentum moves that can happen on expiry days. So now I'm sure you can see why option buyers, they crave for these jackpots, right? They crave for these kind of moves and with a very limited risk, right? They have opportunity to make a killing if they get one trade right. So that is the jackpot that we are talking about. So having understood that, let's answer this one simple question that why does it happen? Why do we see these kind of explosive moves in options on expiry days? Well, for explaining that, I have actually made a full video uh, called The Real Secret of Support and Resistance. So if you have not watched it, I will highly, highly recommend you to watch it because that will debunk the myth of the traditional technical analysis and will give you a real life view of what really happens behind the scenes that move the market. But in a nutshell, the expiry days are volatile and it's not because of you and me. Like you and I, the retail traders, we are insignificant. We do not move the market. The people who are really moving this market, they are the big institutions who have some serious stakes on call options that they have sold or the put options that they have sold. And they do everything in their power to make sure that their positions stay intact and they don't incur losses. So this fight between the bulls and the bears, not you and I, not the retail traders, but the institutions that are bullish versus the institutions that are bearish, that fight on these expiry days induces the kind of volatility which moves the options in this explosive manner. Now, let me be very clear. What am I trying to say here? Am I saying that option buyers on the expiry days, they are all gamblers and they will always lose money to the option sellers? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. See, what you need to understand here is that being an option buyer gives you a lower odd of success as compared to an option seller. And that's a fact. But that doesn't mean that you cannot succeed. The fact is that you can succeed as an option seller and you can succeed as an option buyer. But they both require completely different mindsets for winning. See, the option sellers, they are playing the waiting game because the time is on their side. The probabilities are on their side. So their only job is to manage the risk and not get shaken out by the sudden moves and just try to stay in the trade a little bit longer so that eventually gravity will do its job and bring that option price down to zero. So option sellers are playing the waiting game. Like in my case, right? All I had to do was just sell that option and basically wait, 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 wait. And then that option eventually came down to zero. But option buyers on the other hand, they are not playing the waiting game because as we have seen that if you wait in a trade long enough, you will eventually lose money. So option buyers are playing the game of momentum. See, for an option buyer, time is not their friend. Probability is not their friend. Their only and only friend in this market is momentum. So they need to get in when the momentum is building and they need to get out before the momentum dies down, right? So in other words, they basically have to buy the options when they are cheap and sell when the momentum picks up and the option prices go higher. But the problem is that the most of the traders who I see they are buying options, they don't understand the rules of the game that they are playing. So I see a lot of these option buyers on expiry. What are they doing? They will, let's say, you know, buy an option and they will just wait, right? So they just, let's say, bought a call option. They are hoping for the market to go up and they just keep waiting and waiting and waiting. What they don't realize is that 
with every second they are losing money now some people they try to outsmart the market by buying both call options and put options so their theory is that okay if the market goes up my call option will make me money but if the market goes down the put option will make me money but more often than not what happens is that they lose money on the call option and they lose money on their put option as well and then there are people who play these kind of reversal games in the last half an hour or one hour then they are hoping for you know some kind of a last minute movement but these are not the strategies that will make you money on expiry days that's not how this game is supposed to be played now so if there is any secret recipe out there for an option buyer on expiry day that would be this so there are four ingredients for hitting a jackpot by the way i can tell you right now i don't play this game i'm just telling you from the other standpoint how this game would have been played it's just like chess right i mean if you are playing chess from one side you can also think from the other standpoint so if i had to play this game this is how i would have played so first ingredient is momentum if i had to buy options i need to see if there is a possible momentum that can build in that direction number 1 number 2 i have to make sure that i have perfect entry remember in buying options your entry has to be perfect and so does your exit and last but not the least you need a little bit of a luck right say there are probabilities that are not working in your favor the time is not working in your favor you need a little bit of a luck factor to help you as well so having said that let me just give you guys my little advice so the first thing that i want to say is that there is nothing wrong in buying options on any other day so if you are buying options let's say that are expiring 3 weeks from now 4 weeks from now 5 weeks from now there is absolutely no problem there is no expiry day pressure right so on regular days there is nothing wrong in buying options but if you are buying options that are expiring the same day you need to understand that expiry days can be very very tricky right so if you don't have the proper knowledge if you don't have the proper experience and if you don't have the right understanding of how futures and options they actually work i would strongly advise you to educate yourself first before playing this game because you can lose serious capital in a very short amount of time it can be a very risky game now the second point i'm sure a lot of people probably will not like this is that if you are buying options on the expiry days it is not a strategy it's a game now why is it not a strategy why is it a game now first of all there is nothing wrong with playing a game let's just be clear about that but the reason i would not call it as a strategy is because for me a strategy is scalable so today for example if i'm trading with a capital of let's say 20 lakh rupees if that strategy is working for me tomorrow or let's say next month i should be able to scale my capital to let's say 40 lakh rupees 50 lakh rupees 1 crore 2 crore so if a strategy is not scalable that to me is not a strategy so going back to option bias right it's just like walking into a casino so when we walk into a casino we have you know an x amount of money in our mind we know that okay if we are going to lose uh, let's say 5000 rupees 10000 rupees it's just for fun and game we will not mind but will you ever walk into a casino in your sane mind and put a serious capital there no right so in the same way people who are buying options on the expiry days they can try with a small capital and they can of course make some money there but this cannot be their primary strategy this should not be their strategy at all this is just a game in my mind and if they are making money through this game it can be a side endeavor it, it should never be their primary strategy my next advice for option buyers on these days is to be dynamic because the time is not on your side right so you need to get in you need to get out and you should never overstay your so don't be greedy don't look for 10 times or 20 times or 30 times of uh, returns if you are making some decent returns you should be booking your profit and you should be coming out last but not the least guys i would advise you guys to explore algo trading because the moves in options they happen so quickly that for someone to manually place an order and come out uh, quickly without incurring some serious slippages is very hard so if you are using algos for that probably you will have that time advantage and you can also build some of the rules that will dictate when you will get in and when you will get out so guys having said all that the bottom line here that being an option seller is not for everyone and being an option buyer is also not for everyone so because for being an option seller you will need some serious capital right so for example in my trade i probably would uh, have required at least 20 lakh rupees in that uh, trade and not everyone will have that kind of a capital secondly as i said earlier options sellers can get into some serious trouble if they don't know how to cut their losses so that is another thing that they have to watch out for and that's why option selling is not for everybody in the same way being an option buyer is also not for everybody that's right? so if we keep buying options week after week week after week week after week in the hope of hitting a jackpot i can tell you with certainty that you're going to lose all your money right so being an option buyer you need to be much more agile you need to be much more smarter than the option seller 
to be able to make any money so personally speaking i like to be a casino i like to sell options because that strategy suits my capital my risk appetite right so i like to trade those strategies where i have a high likelihood of success and that's my style and also i can tell you that i don't have the knack of getting in and getting out with perfect entries and perfect exit that's not something that i can do so that is my limitation and that is why i choose to sell option and based on what i have seen is that most of the time i'm right and i make some money but the times that i'm wrong i have to make sure that i'm not incurring some serious losses and that's the only thing that i have to keep in mind but having said that there is a portion in me which would want to develop some algos to see maybe this little game can be played through algos so i don't know if i will ever try being an option buyer on these days i probably will not but if you want to be an option buyer on these days i hope that you will keep in mind the aspects that i discussed with you